What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Gregson and welcome to Shifting Lanes. Today we are picking up our next project car. It's a Volvo. It's yeah, a Volvo. it's a Volvo. Another one. Wasn't yeah. the old one gray? So uh, basically what we've done is we've gone ahead and bought an M66 manual Volvo V70R. What? It's what? a wagon. <laughs> and as you can see, we are not at our place at all. We are actually at the home of uh, Alex Spinner. Uh, you guys might know him from the uh, P2R group on Facebook uh, or the forums. Uh, he kind of is a Volvo V70R hoarder in the best way possible. He buys them, he sells them, he parts them out. So what you should do is go check him out on Instagram. So uh, basically what this is, is it is a magic blue with Atacama interior, M66, transmission, manual, Volvo V70R, stupid rare, like insanely rare. Um, when we bought our original Volvo, uh, I made the point that only 3,407 examples of the V70R were imported into the US, and this is one of them. This is an 05, and it's even rarer than the 04. The 04 had about 1,500 or 1600 in the US <laughs> and I'm looking at you because you're a subject <laughs> off camera uh, even though it's probably on camera but this one is even rarer there were only about six or seven hundred of these uh, imported into the US that are dark blue and have the Atacama interior and also are manual you're probably looking at a one of 20 or 30 example ever to exist in the United States for this exact model so this you can say is rarer than pretty much any supercar in the United States, rarer than McLarens, rarer than Ferraris, and rarer than, I mean, it's almost as rare as actual Koenigseggs because there's only about <laughs> 28 of those, right. but this is a lot. Are you're so only allowed um, one hyperbole per video, so ah, you, you took that one. So. Uh, all right, sorry. All right. But this is the, this thing and a lot of these cars are rarer than supercars, so let's take a quick look at what else Alex has going on here. Cool. Um, we'll go to our car in a minute, but this is a Sonic Blue, also called the Sonicama. Uh, so because he has the Atacama, it's also an M66 manual transmission. This thing looks pretty flawless, I gotta be honest with you. Yeah. Maybe some, some scratches on the paint, but that's what? Because it's a 15 year old car at this point, or you know, 10, 12 year old car. Uh, these things are absolutely gorgeous. You can see like the interior of this one is almost immaculate oh, it compared is to uh, a lot of these cars. So, our car. uh, yeah, our car. <laughs> but I mean, the, the shape that Alex keeps these things in and the shape that they should be kept in is, is pretty amazing. This one is his flash green, which is probably one of the rarest cars Volvo has ever made and has ever been imported into the US, to be honest with you. Um, the flash green, I believe this one, the S60Rs, they're about one, what, one of Magic. four example, one of 10 maybe tops, but I mean, this thing is, it's it's crazy and he's got this thing hooked up he has a uh, fully customized exhaust uh with three inch downpipe uh he's going to be putting meth injection in this thing uh there's a huge new air box in here a ton of work done under the under the hood um oh the thank you thank you random off camera person <laughs> and actually let's in, let's introduce alex right now so why don't we spin the camera around oh yeah Your and it's upside, upside down, down which is are you cool. in distress so now, now you should go. You should go follow Alex on this Instagram account, which is Ash at Ash. Flash Ash at Flash underscore Green underscore R. And if you've never seen Alex, that's what his face looks like. Yeah. It's just a piece of styrofoam with his Instagram account. So, yeah, cool, awesome. And that was Alex. So now, the, now you now you know what he looks like. Um, but yeah, so his cars are his cars are amazing, and this one's especially hooked up. Uh, has a ton of work done to it. Uh, like I said, full exhaust, uh, downpipe. You've got a, cu a huge uh, snab or snob, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, custom air box. And it just looks amazing. Like we want this yeah. in that. So <laughs> yeah, uh, this is super cool. And you can just see like he really takes care of his cars. So anything that you get from him, probably right. gonna be in pretty damn good shape. Which is why we purchased this from him, which is in pretty damn good shape. Uh, we have some different wheels actually than we got going on. Uh, these are, I think these are actual Volvo wheels and I think these were off the actual normal V70s, but uh, he plastic dipped them gold and it looks really cool against the uh, magic blue, dark magic blue paint, which is neat. We also have a Chad, 
inside and an Atacama interior as well, which is in phenomenal shape uh, for what it is. So the seats are a little worse for wear, but you know, that's something that can be redone and refurbished and made to look a lot better. But more importantly, there's no rips in the seats here. So they've either been sewn up or they've been uh, totally um, not ripped from the, or not referred or not they've ripped. Been taken care of yeah they've been taken care go. of <laughs> uh but a lot of the times you'll see rips in these bolsters ours was ripped right along here and it's very Greg, difficult to oh <laughs> there's spanner these, wrenches these Jack. are these are wrenches You're a spanner wrench. <laughs> these are wrenches so what's interesting about this car is that this car does not have the 4c suspension it actually has a set of bc racing coilovers on it so we won't have the comfort sport and advanced modes at all what we'll have is a really comfortable ride and we took this for a quick spin we're going to give you a better idea of what it drives like in a subsequent video but we have wrenches that we can basically lower and raise the car with it's stands fully again, customized and strikes again. yeah we can we can totally stance this out bro hashtag yeah. vape Side note, um, if you do want to learn about the 4C suspension, where can you go? You can go to the Shifting Lanes YouTube channel, which, interestingly enough, Hanson, who's behind the camera, has done a really cool video on. He took one of the struts, cut it apart with an angle grinder, and basically got to the nitty gritty as to why the 4C system works the way it does. It's super cool. Go check it out. We'll link it in the description below. That pretty much is this entire car, but there's one cool little piece that we have in the trunk and it is the original 17 inch Sweet. peg wheels so mm, this car comes with yeah oh my god ours it looks like someone took a dremel mm -hmm. to the face of these these things are in amazing shape and this car is just in such such better shape yeah. than our volvo now why we purchased this car we're going to get to in another video so stay tuned for that uh that'll be coming out either on Thursday or next week. So um, we haven't popped the hood yet, so maybe we should Yeah, let's pop the hood and, and check out what we have going on yeah. in the engine bay. Pop the hood! <laughs> Eddie, pop the hood! Pop the hood! No oh. faith. <laughs> oh, it's nice and warm in oh. here from the drive. This will decimate mm. once we overnight 10,000 grand worth of parts from Japan. He's so good at racing. No, we're gonna we're gonna overnight parts from Sweden? Yes, <laughs> no, Japan. The um, engine looks to be in really nice shape. JDM Volvo. Um, you don't have a ton of corrosion uh, factor going on here of the, outside of what you'd see on a normal car, yeah. honestly. Uh, it's, again, once again, in phenomenal shape, and you can kind of see the BC Racing coilovers up top here. Uh, this is where you would basically adjust anything you'd need to. Uh, for the backs, you need to get inside and kind of take off a whole bunch of stuff, but the fronts are really easy to get to. Um, apparently, I suck. Hmm. Thank you, Chad. Uh, sweet turbo, bro. <laughs> Hashtag alternator tattoo yeah. fail. Um, that would be the turbo. Yeah, turbo's back down in there. Uh, we have our exhaust that we never put on our old Volvo, and that was actually a blessing in disguise because we're now going to throw it on this guy. Yeah. That bit so, of a fail turned into a bit of a win. Yeah. So even when we fail, we win. Yeah, that's right. So um, everything looks to be in super, super good shape uh, underneath. And also, what I love is that the front bumper is not dragging on the ground like the last one we bought off the, it's mark, not off the ground. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, the, it's not super sad, which and, is great. Right. This is actually paint matched, which is uh, very nice. Right. So that's another thing oh. about the 04. So the 04s, and I did this in a video as well, you can basically kind of restore them a little bit with a heat gun and some trim restore. But after the 04s, all of these panels were paint matched to the actual color of the car. So we now don't have to worry about the plastic that a lot of people think is really ugly on these cars. I didn't think it was that ugly, but you know, it fades and cracks over time. And Believe there's YouTube now they don't look of great. You saying it looks ugly. I'm <laughs> well, when it was positive. new, I thought it looked pretty good, but I'm not a huge fan of uh, how they look as they fade over time. So, I mean, the car exterior, interior looks super, super good. Uh, I think I've said super, super a super, super amount of times. So I'm gonna shut up now and stop talking. And that will pretty Continues much do to it talk. for <laughs> for this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it or if you like that we bought another Volvo, hit the thumbs up button, uh, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to make sure that you get all of our videos as soon as we publish them on YouTube. Lots of great stuff coming soon, so you're definitely going to want to stick around. We got the Volvo. We're going to have another car and another car. And another car. Yeah. And another car. <laughs> yeah. And another car. Okay. No, but actually not that many cars.
yeah uh big but, things are happening so uh yes we'll be releasing that soon yeah so stay tuned for more videos to come we have a lot of really cool things lined up and i know i say that in almost any, every one of these videos but uh as you'll see in the next video we know exactly what we're going to do and we're detailing everything we're going to do for the channel from here probably for the next year or two so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time